Speed. Okay, speeding. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Outstanding job. Thank you. Um, what are your earliest memories of Batman? Uh, the television show. Uh, watching that when I was sort of four or five years old. and uh, Even though, obviously, as a grown-up, it looks pretty uh, comedic and camp and silly. Um, as a kid, you take it seriously. And I think that, actually, the, it speaks pretty highly of the elemental, you know, qualities of, of the character, that it can... Um, withstand those kind of slightly goofy interpretations. Mm -hmm. Your first action film, Batman, huge movie, mm -hmm. huge budget, a little pressure, a little bit of nerves happening going in when you first started? Well, you know, yes, uh, in, in theory, but the truth is it's such a long process before you even get onto the floor um, that uh, there isn't really that, that sort of one moment where you have to kind of you know, face that, if you like. Um, you tend to sort of start, start small and work your way up through the, through the course of it. And by the time we got to the biggest sets and the most complex action, um, you know, it, it kind of become like any other film, really. You know, you're looking at what's in the frame and you're saying, how does this advance the story? What I love so much about this movie is it finally gives us a backstory to Batman. Hmm. Why on earth did nobody else think about this before you? I mean, thank you. I have no idea why. I mean, truthfully, it, it, it seemed to me a very strange gap in in movies, really. But but also, even in the comics, it's tended to be treated in, in montage and in, in sort of flashback. There isn't really one definitive account of, of the origin. Um, so it seemed like a great opportunity. I mean, you don't find these kind of little gaps in pop culture very often. And you were so hands-on, obviously, with the script, you and David, and you had a vision. You had a really, you know, you had to get something on that screen that you wanted. What was the most important thing for you to get across when that script was finished? For me, the most important thing was the tone of the film. The most important thing was the idea that we were going to tell the story in a realistic fashion. We were going to remove the frame of, of the comic book panel, if you like, and not, not you know, pay homage to the, the medium that, that the characters come from but actually just pass through that and, and immerse the audience in the story in a, in a real fashion. And then you, of course, have to cast it, and you get this young, amazing talent named Christian Bale mm. on your doorstep, and wow, what wowed you? What, you know, why him? You've got to have somebody playing Bruce Wayne whose eyes you can look into and just see the intensity, see all of the, the qualities of self-discipline and, and focus that Bruce Wayne's going to require to transform himself into Batman, because this is a superhero who has no superpowers. Bruce Wayne makes himself extraordinary through sheer force of will. Christian has that incredible intensity. Yeah, and, and I mean, dedication. I mean, look what he did for the machinist, losing 60 pounds and then gaining it back for you. And then, yeah. you know, oh my God, you'd, you know, if you didn't know this guy, you'd think he was a mental case. <laughs> but once you start working with him, what impressed you most about him? I think his um, clarity, really, his, his focus. He knew exactly what he wanted to do with the character. He'd really done his homework. And um, he's incredibly precise in the way he performs the character. So there's very little, very little wasted time, frankly. He becomes very, very prepared. Uh, let's talk about the rest of this cast. You know, as a director, were you pinching yourself with this veteran? Uh, the veteran actors on this set, wow. Uh, it was great. I and mean, what was especially great is there's so many of them. And they're all playing different scenes. So. You'd sort of, you know, you'd shoot a couple of days with Michael Caine, and then he'd go away, and a week later Morgan Freeman would turn up, and he'd go away, and then Gary Oldman would be there, and, you know, Tom Wilkinson, and Rucker Hauer, and Liam Neeson, and just, just all these, these fantastic acts. And did you allow them to kind of, you know, give in? I know you had a very specific script, but mm. did they collaborate with you? Are you that type of a director where you allow them to collaborate? Well, very much. I mean, I, I enjoy working with intelligent actors, with actors who are really thinking about not just their lines, but how their character is influencing and, and advancing the, the whole narrative. And I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of, you know, very bright actors, and they've become real creative allies. On a film like this, where, you know, my attention is, is divided in so many different directions. There are so many, you know, massive things going on, you know, explosions going off and crazy sets and smoke bombs and this and that and all that. You need those kind of minds taking care of their end of things, because you're not able as a director to give them um, as much you know, guidance as perhaps you would on a smaller film. So their experience and their level of, of skill was essential to me. When you first, very first, saw Christian in that bat suit, what, what did you think? I was, pretty, um, I was pretty amazed to see him in the bat suit for the first time. It happened 
you know, a couple of months into shooting, and um, by which time you get into the grind of filming a little bit, and uh, it was a great reinvigoration, really. It sort of reminded everybody of why we were there and what we were doing. It was pretty spectacular. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and then, of course, he was in it every day for months, and we sort of stopped paying attention. But <laughs> the first time was, uh, was pretty amazing. Yeah, old hat, you know. Who cares if he's sweating it out? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's losing all that weight he put back on. <laughs> what ended up being the biggest challenge for you? I think for me the biggest challenge was uh, probably balancing the requirements of characterization in the story and, and what the actors had to do with the scale of the film. Because just in, in physical terms, what we were taking on was on a grand scale and we used you know, no second unit photography and things like that. We did everything main unit. I wanted to do everything, everything myself. And that creates um, problems. It creates a difficult balance that you have to maintain for a very long period of time. I have to wrap, but I do have to ask you, did you, being the director and the boss on the set, did you get to take that Batmobile for a spin? Because it's I the coolest car I ever saw. Well, I did take it for a spin, and it's uh, a lot of fun to drive. Up for a few more? Uh, you know, um, I, I'm sort of more concerned just to see what people think of this one. People are going to love this. This movie absolutely rocks. Congratulations. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll see you on